Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Phoenix Point. Uh, before we get too far into this, I should give... Ooh, actually, uh, I'm already getting distracted. Um, we're going to be stealing um, the aircraft from here, or at least we're going to be trying to do that. Uh, full disclaimer right at the start, I am a couple of beers in. My boiler has packed up, so it is blooming freezing here in London at the moment. We've just had a storm come in over the weekend and the temperatures have dropped significantly. So I am huddled around my computer and I have a couple of beers to take the edge off. That inevitably means I'm going to make bad tactical decisions. So if you're looking for good tactical gameplay, um, fingers crossed, I think is probably going to be the way we look at this. Um, I'm actually going to want these guys to start exploring before we actually in, uh, do the invasion. Um, but yeah, we're we're pretty much going to jump straight on in with regards to this uh, uh, this particular mission. Can we actually? Ah, oh, there we go. Steel aircraft. That's what we're looking for. Um, so they have uh, one of their super super fast uh, rapid response craft, and we want two of them so we can start experimenting with mutogs uh, and. Uh, the vehicles and everything else that we might want to take into missions. Worst case scenario, another four soldiers. Now our team should be generally prepared. I'm just going to go through and sanity check their equipment before we go in. Uh, of course, there is a small chance that I will miss something, but not going to miss that. Not going to miss that. We've got plenty of resources to make sure we're actually taking in uh, missiles and explosives. Oh, it's actually going to be really fun trying to get our infiltrator out and utilizing some skills. Um, right, so it's probably going to be three people from the Manticore and everyone from the Helios. So we should we should actually do it with the Helios selected. There we go, and that will that'll make sure we actually have the correct people going on the mission. Definitely gear this up. So we're going to be taking in two entire rocket launchers. Now, on these missions, we do have to pay attention. Just let me just switch this over. We don't we don't need to take that out. It might get damaged. Does anyone else have one of those that we can take off? I don't think so. That's probably the only one. Uh, yeah, we have to um, watch out for the fact that there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot of enemies. We'll just get these guys deployed. Uh, there's going to be a lot of enemies, and they're going to try and destroy the craft once we activate it. So we we've got two choices. We can either activate it right at the start and try and defend it for. It's either three turns or five turns. Or we can kill everyone and then activate it. Not sure which way it's going to go. I think it's kind of uh, a kick in the teeth that we're bringing their own craft to do this. But that's what I'm like. Um, right, so we're actually trying to get over here. We could dash straight in and hit it this turn, but they are inevitably going to have people all around this map who can get eyes on this. So let's let's start with our infiltrator. Okay, it's a good start. We've already got a sniper of theirs up on the roof. In fact, while I think about it, 20 willpower. Yeah, we're probably not going to be taking control of them. Don't think we can quite see them at all. We could probably like blow our way through, through that cover. Can anyone see oh, further sick. back? Not really. I mean, we could we could jump ourselves right up on top, but. Where would we have to get to to get eyes on? Probably over here somewhere. Let's pick someone who's got an actual proper ranged weapon. Yeah, getting to here would do. So, in that case, oh, I left one of the one of the neuralizers on. I mean, 
uh, sorry, neurozazers, neuralizers are things from Men in Black. We can we can dash up twice and we can shotgun him right in the face. He's got 230 health. He would die from that. And I think that's a very good start. Okay, we've got another sniper over the far side. So if we position our charge it. Oh, yeah, he's not going to be able to see us from that. That's fine. Uh, but we are going to have to pay attention to the fact that others are going to be able to see us like this chap, which is now a bit of a problem. And we can't do two mind crushes. But we can kill this guy in one go. Or we can kill this guy, probably. I mean, that's that's a significant chance that he would die. Okay, so before we decide which of those we're going to do, let's let's see what other people we could get involved in this shenanigan. If we step to here, we can see the other sniper, and then we can play Sniper Elite. I like the sound of that. Let's select the actual sniper rifle, just to make sure. So from there, it looks like we've got a shot. Identifying target. So apparently this is a shot. No, that is, that is definitely not going to work. We can move up to another one. Let's get to here and we'll check quick aim. Ready to fire. That is a much better shot. So we take out his gun, and he's then pretty much useless. We take out his arm, and he can't use that gun. Either of these are acceptable options. Shooting him in the head isn't going to drop the willpower enough, so yeah, let's... Let's take out the gun. And then we'll I'm just move up way. a little bit. I really want to get an additional assault up here. Receiving loud and clear. What's your move like? Your move is good. So we're going to double dash on this side as well. Most probably. We might be able to do it in a single. Oh my god, how many snipers do they end up having? Too many is the answer. Okay, you can make it all the way over to this one. So we're solving problems by just blasting people no at point blank range. Ready to fire. I really wish it wasn't going to come to this, but that was a kill. Needs must and all that. Targeting. Which means you've got no protection. It's, it's very much like chess at times. Five by five. Okay, so we know that there is another sniper here with seven willpower. So you are definitely mind controllable. You've got a pistol out and seven willpower. So you're mind controllable. Two dashes would take us down to six willpower, which is not enough. We could walk across here and start plinking. I agree. I agree, Amos. That is not a guaranteed shot. Let's actually have a better look. No, don't. I think I'm going to need to zoom out to the max and even then oh there we go right a little bit more so i'm just trying to get an idea for how much blockage we're gonna have and it's quite a lot but i think that's still a pretty good shot
in the grand scheme of things, that's not bad. Okay, one hit. Let's say better than I expected. So let's move you kind of back over this way. I'm here. I'm honestly not sure what we're going to do over this way because that building is really going to be getting in the way of everything. Grenades aren't quite going to do what I want. We could boom blast to get extra range, but there's there's no real guarantees on it. So at this point, it might be better for us to jump jet up top and then use that to our advantage next turn. So yeah, let's let's jump jet here with the option to kind of like back up when things inevitably go back. Oh yeah, we can only actually make it over this way. Let's jump jet somewhere more sensible. Uh, we will move forwards. Advancing. And then activate the jump jet. There we go. That's a reasonable place, I think. Let's get this done. And if there's someone else up there, then I yeah, we're just gonna like have to face tank it. Okay. So carrying on with our infiltration run. We can get you... Yeah, that's actually a really good place. That assault is miles away, so not a concern. Over this side, Jackson. Jackson, you are definitely going to be needed on high ground. Let's move you in. And I think, knowing that there's an assault over there, let's get you behind this bit of cover. Let's get this done. It does kind of put you a little bit underneath this, but we can we can reposition and try and not blow the craft up. And over here, knowing that these guys have got to move, we can probably come in and not risk too much. And that means we've got 18 willpower for mind controlling next turn. And there's a little bit of scouting for us. All right, let's 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 see how bad this is. Just like we did. Okay, you're coming through. I want you all to be super demoralized. Overwatch the wrong direction? I'm fine with that. Some of these have positioned themselves almost too easily for us. There is a lot of them though. I was... <gasps> I was not expecting that. I mean, we've, we've seen them do the whole medkit thing before. Just like we discussed. There's so many of them in close proximity. I don't know whether to shotgun them, grenade them, or mind control them. Activating scanners. There is a lot of them. I might have misjudged this. You're shooting my shotgun. See how you like it. I hope they don't start doing crazy stuff with grenades. This. this is the one that we'd actually seen before. I'm going to have to do some, some explosive stuff here. Zero damage. Not even a bit of shred. So that probably penetrated this and then uh, didn't really affect us. This. My word, how many of them are there? Okay. Wow. 
Wow, wow, wow. Okay, uh, nine willpower. Four willpower. You're going to be our first target. And this one is hopefully going to let us kill someone else, reduce the willpower on everyone else. Ready to fire. Are we going to do enough damage that way? So... The most damage is going to be done if we shoot them in the head. Let's have a look at other options. You've got 210 health, you've got 170 health, 160 health, 190 health. You've got 250 health, yeah, you are the weakest. So, in terms of damage, oh, this only does 10. And does paralysis. What is this neural pistol like? Piercing 30, paralysis 5. Yeah, it's not not great. You do have a grenade on you. But realistically, that's that's not what we're gonna need. Taking aim. All right, before we kill you, you've got two willpower. That's what I wanted to check. Here. You're out of range, though. So we could we could mind crush and get a whole bunch of the remaining ones near us. That would do 100 damage. That would leave you with 90 health, so we could then shoot you. And then we could mind control this one for less and start going after the next. That might be a better option. You're not actually available for mind control. You are. So I think this, this story is kind of writing itself. You're going to get mind control for nine. And then between the two of them, they're going to start murdering people. We've got quick aim, so we can take two sniper shots. So, quick aim this way. This is a sh rather pants gun. So let's just focus on the pistol. I don't mind if we use up all our willpower doing this. Okay, head is disabled. Uh, we'll do another quick aim. Uh, yeah, keep shooting the head. Do the most damage we can. Then, what I want is I want us to move one unit's worth so we trigger this get shot ourselves. And the paralysis has actually just reduced our action points a little bit too much. Secondary plan. Secondary plan effective. Uh, I would love to drop what we have on the ground. Ah, brilliant. I think it's, it's, no, it's not going to let us do this, but I'm going to try anyway. It did let us do it. 
that's very satisfying. Okay, so on to the next. Identifying target. 210 or 170. Let's shoot you in the arm. No way, you're using that gun. Uh, you're probably going to die from whatever rocket ends up hitting. So let's go after you. Yeah, this is not going to do much. I quite like those neural pistols. They seem to work very well. So that leaves you with with two action points. Not enough willpower really to do what I would like. So I think now's the time for us to switch to someone else. Oh, Amos, this is not a brilliant time. Let's steer you that way. What do you want to do? Do you want to help out? Well, just don't tread on the keyboard, mate. Okay. Last thing I want is him accidentally skipping the turn. Here goes. So with rockets, we can position it. Maybe so. Wait. Well, yeah, we could we could do these three like that, which is going to be quite effective. It is not going to be effective. That is problematic. So now we're reliant on grenades. I mean, grenades are also going to work, but yeah, those rockets are just not as accurate as I hoped. So that's one grenade down. Here comes the second. Okay, quite a lot of equipment damaged slash destroyed over there. We've of course got more rockets available. And this is significantly more likely to go where we want it to. Let's spin round. There we go. I think that's better than the previous one. One dead. This guy is going to bleed out. This guy is probably going to bleed out. So we can start focusing on other guys. Where can we get our grenades? You two. You look like a good target for grenading. One of them's already on panic, that's good. Here goes. Now we are damaging the ship a little bit with this, so I've got to be a bit... In fact, I've got to be very careful. Crap, I did not see that. Yeah, that is, that is definitely something that we'll need to watch out for. How much willpower have you got? You've got nine, so we could move round and mind control that one as well. Here. But also mind crush to definitely kill this, probably kill this one, and then get some willpower back from it. No, because he's going to bleed out, so there's no need for that. I wish you could still move, but you can't. Okay, we're going to step in. Moving out. Then do a mind control on you at the back. Because you've got three. Now we can quick aim twice. Again, we've got the Athena. Oh, sorry, we can quick aim once because of the amount of willpower left. But this is still the best 
one for us to be doing it with. Uh, we are going to take return fire. Ah, oh, it's the neural pistol. This is this is all bad, really. I mean, try and paralyze the arm, I guess. I don't think they want to talk. Something okay. feels really wrong. That wasn't too bad in terms of return fire. Uh main gun is pretty much gone but we can still carry on trying to paralyze this guy engaging think of it as reverse solidarity all right that was not terrible we've ended up with a guy with a damaged arm so he's going to be pretty useless this guy is paralyzed. You're panicked. You're effective, but surrounded by fools. Here. So you're currently in danger. What can we do to mitigate that? We've not used many of our own troops so far. We can dash right down next to this guy and put him out. Let's do that. Pushing on. Taking offensive action. Oh, wow. We got very lucky with that. I should have paid attention to the fact that he might have been able to see us through there. Targeting. As it is. Sorry, Frankie. Your time has come. Uh... Bit of panic over there. That's always good. So you can see the one that's going to bleed out. In fact, you're going to bleed out. You're going to bleed out. How much willpower have you got left? Eight. If we dash up to here, we could see that chap, but that's not really going to be much use. Dash around to here, we could start. Yeah, we could dash twice and blast the paralyzed guy. He's paralysed! How the hell did he manage to overwatch? That is definitely an omission. Alright, before I get too far into all of that... This is the angle I want. I think we shot the ship as well. That ship is definitely struggling. Gotta be very careful. Over here, let's move on up. I think they're gonna have enough people just bleed out next turn that everyone else is gonna end up panicked. But it would be nice to have a little bit of assurance. Let's get you down to here. And actually, some of the... Uh, not enough action points for the decoy. I was going to say, some of the assurance could actually just be in, in the case of uh, getting ourselves a nice oh little decoy. Let's see how that goes. So they've got panic and bleeding. They are going to get their guys back next turn. Yeah, a little bit of paralysis on us. That's not a problem. I'm wondering if I should start looting everything. Right, you're still ours. You're not. 
And not being ours means you're fair game, mate. Let's uh, actually release this guy so that he can start properly panicking along with everyone else. Just step in a tiny bit there. Next up, we can... Yeah, let's uh, get in and kill this guy. So dash to the cover. Ready to engage. Put him down. And we'll also grab as much stuff as we can. Which really isn't going to be much because we're carrying a lot of stuff. I don't need to mind crush at this point. Who's next? You can see this guy. Oh, I definitely don't want to shoot the ship, so... Lots of panic, that's what we like to see. Well, seeing as they're panicking, let's let's loot what we can. And carry on moving in. Bit of extra willpower, always welcome. Yeah, I don't really care about any of that. I need my shots to be accurate so we don't shoot the ship. We might end up... These are all panicked, actually. So let's let's get down in the middle and start looting everything. Let's roll. That is not great looting. Step on in, properly intimidate him. Who is next in our grand looting spree? I think if we bring you round this way. Take the grenade. Grenades are going to be more fun, inevitably. Uh, let's not mind crush. Let's let's get right up next to this one. I want you to keep moving up this way. Now, inevitably, they're going to get more people in on their turn, but the best thing we can do is try and get ourselves in a position to get as much stuff as we can and that ship. Uh, I think we're done for this turn. Oh, you've got a little bit of move left. Okay, I feel better. It's a bit of recovery for some of them. Obviously, the ones that have run far away, we need to hot-foot it up next to and take care of this guy. Aiming. I would say I'm sorry, but you kind of had it coming. Oh. Still alive, but bleeding so much they're going to die. Uh, how's your inventory looking? You've got space for a couple of things. I am a bit worried about that guy around there. Can we dash around the corner at him, maybe? Yeah, that's going to work. Identifying target. Put him down. Hostile down. Okay, good. So that means we can do looting over here. Grab that, grab that. A 
Yeah, he's going to die. We don't need to do anything further with him. Over this side, you're full. Let's get you just about ready to do that. You've done your action for the turn. Uh, you are not full, though, so we can bring you back for looting. Over here, you've got lots of space. Oh, this guy's still alive. Yeah, definitely got to take care of him. Ready to fire. That was a kill. Careful aiming to make sure we don't accidentally blast the ship. You are full as well. I really wish we could repair this ship. Five by five. You've got two space. So let's get you down to well, this one over here. Moving to coordinates. Yeah, you're not full yet, actually. So, that's one. I'm on my way. Two, three. We are going to be as jam-packed as possible. Okay, so in terms of people who've actually got space left... Five by five. Jackson does. And Charlie does. Oh, and Spectre does. I'm ready. Okay, I think we give it. Oh. Crap, I forgot about that one around there. Right. We need to definitely kill them before they come round and do something nasty. I'm sorry, I know you're panicked, but can't risk it. Acquiring target. I can understand why they're not gonna like us for this. Okay, let's do the last bit of looting and then we'll grab that and then I'm sure they'll have reinforcements start coming in uh, you can come across for this yeah get some of that neural magazine stuff And you can make it to that one, but you can't loot it this turn. That's alright. You could potentially do it next turn. Alright. Let's get in position to cover as many different lines slash vectors as possible. And we'll probably get everyone to... Actually, let's... Can I get you into a good place up top? Ooh. No, it's not really a good place, is it? Let's uh, let's get you around here for now. You're fine. You're going to trigger this, and then you'll probably take cover from this way. You're fine, and your support kind of on this side. Yeah, that works. Let's let's put you here for now. Your full willpower need to do nothing, so let's just step you on. Activate the objective. So five turns we've got to survive, and this thing has got tiny health left. It's, uh, it's not good for us, but uh, I'm sure we'll make it work. Over here. Grab the last couple of bits. Get up to a tree. 
Uh, you're in good nick. You're in good nick. Uh, I might bring you over this way though. Just because the positioning is going to be a bit of a question. Uh, I was fine with you being there. Let's uh, recover you. There's always time for R and R. Seeing as we have so many extra of these, heal up. Advancing. You can get up into that little bit of cover. And I think we're now just Ready. waiting out to see what comes through the various doors. It's one turn. We might have actually just killed them all, so it might not be a question. Let's go grab this. We've got one extra space. I can't believe that the biggest threat to the aircraft was nearly me. Yeah, pretty certain we have this in the bag. So, small injury on Spectre. Uh, I wasn't fussed about healing that up. A little bit of experience across the board, but most importantly, we've ended up with a blimmin' ship. And they're not going to be very happy with us over that. Also, we got a whole bunch more stuff that uh, that we didn't have a chance to pick up. So we definitely restocked. Uh, Sinedrian don't like us. The Haven really don't like us. Good to be working with you. If we're going to save the world, we'll need all the help we can get. At this stage, we've granted you low-level access to our network and set up a liaison office to work with your people. But, as I'm sure you can understand, we need to take things slow at first. Your organization has a reputation. It's hard to know which side you'll take, and we need to know that you share our values. I'll tell you up front, I definitely don't, Agent Smith. Go away. At the moment, we're setting up a mission to recapture an old satellite control base. What for? Well, there's a saying in New Jericho, Tobias West always has a plan. And he has a plan for the equipment and the data we can get from that base. You'll find out more when the time is right. So, are you up for it? We'd really appreciate your help. Yeah, let's uh, let's leave the God King Tobias West to his own stuff. I honestly don't care. Uh, this place, needless to say, uh, don't like us anymore. We could raid them for other stuff. Can we actually uh, trade with them? No, trading is disabled because they don't like us anymore. But we have a new ship and this makes me happy. In terms of research, a 15 paralysis neural sniper rifle sounds like definitely something that I want to be reverse engineering. Let's put that to the top and then we'll get Citadels going immediately next. And then the Chiron autopsy because it's mostly done. Um, but yeah. 15 paralysis means if we take our best snipers, we can get 30 paralysis per turn. The Scylla had, yeah, we'd still need a team. But it, it means that it's entirely possible. It's entirely possible for us to do something like that. Uh, let's send everyone back to some real memorial base. Manticore, you can come back as well. And of course the Helios too. And uh, we're gonna get everyone repositioned. Okay. Our research shows that when several Pandoran layers exist in an overlapping territory, they merge into a single structure. It's noted that this new network is larger than before and no longer has a spawnery. Instead, the Citadel contains a single controlling Scylla. 
while all other creatures are created from clusters of biomass in the cave network itself, killing the controlling Scylla will cause a cascade reaction that will effectively destroy all biomass in the entire citadel, including all the creatures created from it. All citadels should be destroyed as soon as they are discovered. Well, I very much agree with that. So actually, let's get this Helios coming here so we can get an area scan going from here. And the Tiamat, when it gets down here, will potentially start another. Actually, you can you can just explore that. Okay, the Chiron autopsy is done. Chirons are a newly discovered mutation without any previous precedent. We suspect they originate from more of an advanced structure than those used to gestate Arthrons and Tritons. They fulfill a support role, attacking from great distances, although some mutations have close range capabilities. That'd be the Stompers we saw before. 20% Arthropod, 15% Coleoptera, 10% Homo sapiens, and 55% Unknown. Function is long range attack, limited close range capabilities in some mutations, which means abdominal launchers, explosives, worms, goo, close range stunning stomper legs, and front leg melee variant, which we haven't seen yet. Uh, defensive mutations, heavily armored legs, uh, yeah, very limited, but can leap. And the head is poorly armored. Yeah, I mean, we've we've run in and we've shotgunned them right in the face, so we know but that's definitely something worth worth considering. Okay. Now, in terms of the personnel, we've got a Mutog here, and this is this is going on to our other Helios. And the reason I'm doing this is the Helios itself has a certain number of slots available. The Mutog it's uh, takes out three, so that still leaves us with two. One, two, three, four, five in the other ship. Six, seven, eight. Maybe it might work. Uh, so we want this to be the best of the best. So I'm afraid Kane. Uh, Kane has not arrived yet. Let's get an area scan going up here. That area scan is going to be pretty beefy when it happens. Okay. So, in terms of people... Oh, they're still not arrived. Now they've arrived. Came. Come across. Luke. Come across. That means that Charlie and the others aren't going to make it. They're going to need their own... Uh, extra support, I guess, is the, the right way of putting it. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy having two full rapid response ships. And the Manticore is just going to end up heading back down and gathering more people. So we've got two soldiers down here. Uh, we've got two soldiers over here. We should probably try recruiting more. It'd be really nice to be able to click on this and just like see who's actually here. Which base is this? This is actually Phoenix Point. So back at Phoenix Point, we've got Jack and Giles. Yeah, that seems reasonable to go and grab them. One day, 20 hours for the research. We've found out what's going on here. Let's uh, carry on pushing in. Well, that's definitely going to be something that we need to stop. Except it's down in Australia. Ah, uh, Australia. They've had a bit of a rough run of it recently. They survived uh, pretty pretty long in this game, but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's not great. We're not going to be able to help them out. Um, but we are unfortunately out of time for this episode, regardless of all of that. 
Thank you very much for watching everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Phoenix Point. See you soon.